up guys, Jeremy from iDevice Movies, and in this video I'm going to show you the best iPad tweak you can get. At least this is my opinion, so you might, you know, like something more than this, but I think this is just, for functional wise, this is an amazing tweak. Now this is a paid Cydia tweak, it is $2.99, but it is worth every penny. Now right off the bat, obviously I have a ton of icons on this one single page. I have uh, an amazing cover flow effect on the dock. The icons are resized to 80%. There's no labels on any icons. I have a custom clock name. Make sure you guys subscribe. And uh, there is a ton of settings for this tweak, so let's just kind of jump into settings here quick, and I'll do, I'll give you guys a quick overview of it. I'm not going to cover every single, you know, thing you can do because it'll be a 12 to 15 minute video. So here is Spring to My's two. Just make sure when you search Insidia, you add a two to that name there. Now you have animations. Uh, you can make your iPad slow motion. You have app to app transition and vertical old TV tube lock. You can have it play a sound. You can change the color. You can change your screenshot flash color. Capabilities, you can toggle all these on or off to whatever your liking is. So I mean if you have the App Store off, App Store will not work. The dock here, you can hide the dock, hide the labels, hide the reflection. Use a custom number of icons on the dock. I have mine set at 8 as you've seen. And then here at the bottom you have the cover flow effect, which you saw on mine as well. The cover flow effect is totally adjustable. And you can have it be concave, convex, or convex outside. So there's just a ton of settings. Next you have lock screen. You can display seconds. Um, you can hide the top bar, the bar that's on the clock. You can delay the dim time of your lock screen. Fully customizable. You can hide the slider knob, change the slider text. Icons here has a whole bunch of settings as well. Hide the labels, disable jittering, lock from moving, uh, disable from uninstalling so no one, can no one can delete your applications. And as you've seen on mine, you can use a custom number. I have mine set at 8. And then for rows here, I have it set on 5, but if you resize your icons in this next section here. If you make them really small, you can have more than five rows. I have my icons all resized at 80%. You can hide icons, you can hide the newsstand, spring to my or whatever icons you want to choose from. Folders, a whole bunch of uh, different toggles here. You can change the amount of icons in the folders as well for going across wise, one through 10. App switcher. Landscape switcher is for iPhone or iPod. Start editing so they'll always show the end multitasking little button on them. You can have it start with the iPod controls. You have a brightness slider you can turn on. Also here you can change the amount of icons in the switcher. Uh, you have time machine so you can back up your setup and then you can restore it if forever, for whatever reason you lose your uh, your setup with Spring Tomize. It even saves the wallpaper and uh, where all the icons are too so that's a pretty cool feature status bar here you can change the carrier name you can put in whatever you want for uh, clock whatever you type there mine is subscribe to iDevice Movies guys make sure you do that and then a whole bunch of uh, icons here that are normally in your status bar that you can hide which is cool as well you have pages, hide dots, remove page limits, disable spotlight, disable paging Theming is awesome section here. Uh, you can choose custom dock or battery if you have any downloaded. Uh, you can change the icon labels. You can change the font. Look how many fonts there is, guys. Just a ton of fonts. You can change the size of the icon's fonts and the color. You can change the opacity of your icons. And there's effects here. You have grayscale and sepia there. You can also change the color of the lock screen clock. Notification center, you can disable if you want. You can make it transparent. Instant clear, you can have custom lines. 
And then the last here is documentation, settings, mobile substrate add-ons, report a problem, and then if you want, you can reset everything back to default. And that is basically a quick overview of all the settings for Springtomize 2. And again, this is my, in my opinion, the best tweak you can get for your iPad. And uh, yeah, this little setup here looks looks amazing with the tweak barrel. Check that out, guys. Just all these icons just scrambling everywhere. And I find the uh, the iPad to be a lot more functional with a you know an icon setup like that, being able to fit so many more icons on one page, even in the dock too. And I just love the cover flow effect of the dock. I think it really adds a lot of character to your iPad. And again, this is Spring to Mice 2. It is $2.99 from Cydia. Let me know what you guys think about this. Tweak in the comments section below. This is Jeremy from iDevice Movies, and thanks for watching.